Here we're going to be setting up the trays for processing black and white paper. Uh, we're going to be using 8 by 10 trays, which are the smallest size in our darkroom. You want to have the white lights on while you're doing this and make sure you have some of the more relatively clean trays that might be around here. Pouring out developer, it's in the tank um, to the left. And to, for the 8x10 trays, you just need one full beaker that comes straight out of the tank. For the 11x14 trays, you need about one and a half. Pouring out this developer, rinse out this beaker because the developer tends to oxidate and um, get kind of ugly looking. Got a tong to put in the developer tray. You want to make sure you have one that's clean. Here's one that's not clean. Um, this one has a buildup of bromide on it, um, which would stain your prints if it came into contact with it. Sometimes it helps if this starts happening when you're working to wipe it off with a paper towel. This one's really trash. Not only is it partially brown, it's got kind of a grayish brown, but it's also cracked. So this one's going in the trash. Next is the black rinse tray. We don't need a large volume of water going through here, but it needs to be hooked up with the hose and just a little trickle of water through here. The hose just sticks into this well that's at the back part of the tray. You just crack the water on so there's just an obvious flow. Set up a tong in that tray. The fixer from the right tank, and that'll also be one liter beaker. And we'll also want to find a functional tong to put in there. The last thing to set up is the final rinse, which is done with a tray siphon. This needs to have enough flow so it establishes a suction action that is draining the tray as it fills it up. With too little flow, it fills only and doesn't drain and then it usually pours over the top and the thing that can happen is that water pouring over the top can actually pour into the fixer tray and dilute the fixer. Because your prints should be rinsed out in here after they're moved from the fixer with tongs, you don't have to worry about tongs in the final wash. The session is done. We'll just be pouring the chemicals down the drain and rinsing everything off. So, there goes our developer. I'm going to turn the faucet on here. Get a nice flow of water through here. Thoroughly rinse off the tongs. And if you see any visible darkness on them, wipe them down with a paper towel. And then put those back. The, tree, the trays should be rinsed out about three times. This can just go back. This tray, just make sure the water's turned off. Flip it over. Put that upside down in the sink. Fix her down the drain. Rinse off the tongs. Three changes of water in the fixer tray. The fixer tray is a little dirty. It might benefit from a, rubbing it down with a paper towel in between rinses here. Sometimes you can get a lot of the sludge off just by rinse, rubbing it with a paper towel and then giving it another rinse or two. It's a good idea to just dump the rinse water as well.